All right, here we have the shoulder. Nice. Right, so we're gonna look at the shoulder, including our deltoid and the rotator cuff muscles. So the deltoid is gonna be that big muscle that's right at kind of the top of your shoulder. And we do have origins and insertions for almost all of these muscles here in the shoulder that we need to be responsible for. Okay, so if we think about the deltoid, it is going to originate up at the top. So at the clavicle, and then it's gonna wrap around to the scapula and it's gonna hit the acromion of the scapula and the spine of the scapula. And then it will be inserting on the humerus, right? So it inserts at the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus, that bump we found when we were looking at the humerus. Now, if you're going to think about the action of the deltoid, move your shoulder. I mean, seriously, move your shoulder. Every single movement, pretty much, of your shoulder is going to have part, you know, the deltoid will have a part in it, including the um, lateral and medial rotations, the extension, flexion, and abduction. So everything the deltoid will be working on moving here. Now we're gonna next look at the rotator cuff. There are four major muscles of the rotator cuff, so if we take off the poor dude's deltoid. Surgery! Oh no! We are going to kind of turn and look at the posterior side here of the arm, and we're gonna look at it compared to our scapula. It's our shoulder joint. Now this is our ball and socket joint, which is a synovial, synovial joint. joint. So the synovial joint is gonna have a lot of things going on in it. This is a kind of crazy joint. So we're gonna start by finding the spine of the scapula. So there's the spine of the scapula. And remember when we were looking at the bones, we talked about above and below. So the infra spinatus below it and our supra spinatus above it. Now those two fossas are going to be where the muscles are going to attach. So the first one's gonna be our infra spinatus. So we're gonna find below the spine of the scapula. This is a pretty big muscle. It covers most of that surface of our scapula. So it's gonna originate on that fossa. So on the infra spinous fossa of the scapula is where our infra spinatus muscle will be originating. Nothing like a mouthful there. Tell me about it. It's going to insert on the humerus. So it's actually going to have an insertion. Remember the movable point on the greater tubercle of the humerus. So that point there on the shoulder. Uh, that is also going to be the spot where uh, two other muscles originate. So the action of our infraspinatus is going to be the lateral rotation. So if we want to laterally rotate the arm, that's the muscle that will be helping us out. The next will be our supraspinatus. So this muscle is gonna be above the spine. It is going to be originating in the supraspinous fossa on our scapula. Now this one will also be inserting on the greater tubercle of the humerus with the infraspinatus. Now this one will help us to abduct the arm. So the supraspinatus muscle will help abduct the arm. Our next muscle here we can see on the backside is the teres minor. And then the teres major is actually right below it, that big fat muscle. The teres major is not part of the rotator cuff, so you don't have to know origin and insertion, but you do for the teres minor. Now the teres minor is going to originate at the lateral border of the scapula, so almost back there at the point. Um, and then it will also be inserting at the greater tubercle here on the humerus. And this one, our teres minor will help us to laterally rotate the arm. So think about all the movement your shoulder does, all four of these muscles are gonna combine with that. Now as we turn, we're gonna look at the front side of the arm. Yay. We can see that we are looking at the subscapular fossa and subscapularis is going to be the name of the muscle that comes through here. So the subscapularis is the only muscle on the front part of the scapula. It basically covers the whole thing and will originate along that fossa. Now this will be the only muscle that inserts on the lesser tubercle of the humerus. So all of the other three of our rotator cuff are all on the greater tubercle. This one is on the lesser tubercle and is going to help us medially rotate 
the humerus. So if we think about rotations and abducting, all of these rotator cuff muscles are gonna be the ones that are doing it. So I think that that's it for our shoulder. Sounds Are we good? good? Yeah. All right.